An automated evergreen webinar could be your business's new best friend. And if you're not even sure what that is, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through that today. If you're new here, my name's Jess. I create videos every week for business owners like you to help you save time and look good online. And to start, an automated evergreen webinar is basically a free workshop, a webinar, that you will create and it's how people can join your email list and then funnel them into your paid product, program, membership, whatever you want them to buy or join at the end of your funnel. Some business owners decide to do an evergreen funnel because then that means hopefully they don't have to launch as many times per year, which is personally why I'm doing it, but it is a lot to set up. It's not as easy as just, you know, hey, here's a workshop. So I'm gonna break it down for you in this video. Now for my funnel, I'm using WordPress, ConvertKit, Thinkific, and Deadline Funnel. But Deadline Funnel specifically what is what I'm gonna be talking about today, and it does integrate with a lot of other platforms. So even if you are not using WordPress and ConvertKit, let's say you're on Squarespace and MailChimp, you can still use this. Some of the steps will just look a little different because you'll be using a different platform. And yes, you can sell directly through WordPress. You don't have to use something like Thinkific. I just am personally using Thinkific for my membership. Today's video is sponsored by Deadline Funnel, but as you know, I only share resources that I really love and use in my own business. And I actually looked at using other things like Thrive Ultimatum versus using Deadline Funnel and obviously chose Deadline Funnel because that's why I'm making this video. Uh, and I really, really loved Deadline Funnel because it really gives each user its own kind of like fingerprint meaning they get their own individual deadline while they're in the funnel. And also very important, you can actually put the deadline funnel timers in your emails, not just on the sales pages. So that helps create a sense of urgency. Now, like I said, this is a lot more than just having an on-demand workshop available on YouTube or Vimeo. There's a lot more that goes into it. And I know you might be wondering, well, why are you doing all of this instead of just a free workshop on YouTube that's you know privately hosted? And that's because the deadline funnel helps create scarcity and scarcity really helps boost your sales. Now, another reason that I chose deadline funnel is because everyone that I know that has some kind of automated funnel uses deadline funnel. So I figured it was a pretty great product and it is. And what I love is that my friends all use it for different reasons and different ways. So some people have like a product or course that maybe is not open, but they will use their funnel to give people limited time access. So, hey, you can kind of join through the back door during this time. Some people give a discount. Personally, I'm doing bonuses, limited time bonuses that you only get if you join join through the funnel. Now, before I jump in and show you deadline funnel, there are a few things you're going to want to have in place before you start setting up deadline funnel. The first is your normal sales page, but then you're also going to want a sales page that includes also your limited time bonuses, if that's what you're choosing to do. I literally just duplicated my page and then went in and added a section to name my bonuses. I use the Divi theme and they make it possible to just duplicate pages, or there are WordPress plugins that allow you to literally hit duplicate page. That way you don't have to recreate and redesign a whole second page. So you'll want your normal page and then your duplicated page with the bonuses. And that page you'll want like program dash bonuses or whatever. You want a slightly different URL. And then if you are a ConvertKit user like me, you'll also need a tag specific to this funnel. So a tag that will be added as someone joins your funnel. Also, before you go in and start hyperlinking your sales page and all of your emails, make sure you set up deadline funnel first because they have a very specific URL that you're going to use inside ConvertKit to help track people as they move through your funnel. So save yourself some time and don't link yet until Deadline Funnel is set up. Now let's hop in and look at Deadline Funnel. So once you've logged into Deadline Funnel and kind of set up some of the basic things in your account, it's going to ask you to set up a campaign. So I'm going to click Create New Campaign. 
these are the systems that I use in my business, as I mentioned earlier, but like I said, they have lots of other integrations. So yours will show up here and then you can give your campaign a name. Then you want to select your blueprint. So for my example, I use the automated webinar. And also, like I mentioned, you want to have a specific tag that you are going to use in your funnel. And then you'll have a custom field. And then I've already integrated ConvertKit, so I will click Create Webhook. This is something you'll do earlier when you connect ConvertKit to your account. And then you want to set up your deadline length. So for my example, I have a limited time bonus that expires actually after one day. And then I do have another deadline that expires after three days. So I actually have to set up two separate campaigns. So if you're going to do a fast action bonus and then a limited time bonus, you will have to do two different campaigns. We didn't go over that today, but just know if you're doing that, you'll need two different deadlines. So on this page, this is where you would first send them to your special landing page that has your limited time bonuses or special pricing listed, and then redirect them after the deadline to your normal sales page. Once you're set up, then you can come in and edit some different things inside your campaign. So right here, this is the quick start guide. So they're going to walk you through the different things you need to do to make sure everything is set up inside Deadline Funnel with all of your other apps and programs. Under Pages, this is where you can set up having inline timers and floating bars on your website, which look like this. And then as I mentioned earlier, under emails, they're going to give you specific links that you need to use inside your ConvertKit emails. So instead of linking specifically to a certain page, you're going to click here and then paste that link in your ConvertKit emails. Under appearance, you can actually adjust what it looks like. So you can play with the placement, the colors, all that kind of fun stuff. And then under settings, this is where, again, you can kind of play with different settings, the integrations that you have linked up to it, anything you need to adjust on the back end. And then they also have a testing feature so you can test your deadline funnel yourself. And last but not least, you want to be sure you have your tracking code installed on your website. So this will need to go on the website or the specific pages that you are using as part of your funnel. So again, the, the timers work and everything is tracked. One of the things you will need to connect ConvertKit to Deadline Funnel is the API key, which you can find under your account settings and you'll find it right here just copy and paste that and then you will spend a lot of time under the automations tab one to set up your actual funnel two to actually set up the email funnel and then you'll also spend some time in the rules this is for adding tags removing tags especially you know once they purchase your product if they click to a sales page all that kind of fun stuff and lastly, I want to show you how to add the deadline funnel timers to your sequence email. So I'm in the sequence. If I hop back over to deadline funnel, the emails tab, if you scroll down this HTML code, that's what you want to copy. And then in ConvertKit, you want to click on this little HTML button right here. It'll switch to black. Just put your cursor, paste, and then switch back and then it will appear and you can see it right there. If you wanna see this in action, be sure and check out my workshop that's linked down in the description. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, be sure and check out these videos for more tips.